Okay, Rich Van Tassel back with you, giving you the breakdown for tonight's Monday Night Football game between the Cincinnati Bengals, who are 11-3, and, and they are traveling to Denver to play the Broncos, who are 10-4. and four. Injuries for the visiting Bengals first. Tyler Eifert, their tight end, and Andy Dalton, their quarterback, are both out. For the Broncos, TJ Ward, safety, questionable. Peyton Manning, running or quarterback, is out. CJ Anderson, the running back, is probable. Denver will be turning to Brock Osweiler yet again. <clears throat> um, has certainly shown that he is human. A lot of excitement after the game against New England that they won. Uh, he's played well at times, but he's certainly shown that he has a lot of work to do. And we'll see if Cincinnati can put him to the test. I expect Cincinnati to get pressure with that vaunted front four. And their defensive line is very good. So I expect Brock Osweiler to really have to make quick decisions tonight. And we'll see how he's able to handle that. For the Bengals, they can still get the top overall seed. They'll have to win tonight and obviously win next week and hope that New England loses. For Denver, a loss will really put them in a pretty precarious situation. They will be tied with Kansas City at 10-5, and five, setting up um, the final week of the season. And I believe that Denver does not hold the tiebreakers. So Cincinnati could, or excuse me, if Denver loses tonight, Kansas City can win next week and clinch the division if Denver were to lose. And Denver could actually fall out of the playoffs with two losses the final two weeks of the season. So it's becoming very interesting there for the Denver Broncos. They really have to be careful. They have a home game tonight, and they're going to have to find a way to win it. They will be at home next week as well against the San Diego Chargers, I believe. For Cincinnati, what they have to do uh, with A.J. McCarron, he played well last week. Can he find A.J. Green downfield? I expect him them I expect the Bronco the Bengals offense that is to try to find him downfield but uh, only on a limited basis they're not going to really be forcing it downfield to AJ Green. Giovanni Bernard is not having that good of a season just a little over 4 yards per carry but two touchdowns and he doesn't even have 700 yards yet. So can they rely on him to carry the offense in this game? Uh, I'm going to pick the Denver Broncos in this one because AJ McCarron is starting. Brock Osweiler has shown a bit more potential. Uh, certainly a stronger arm, and he's played a few games. A.J. McCarron did play last week, but it was against the struggling 49ers team. So this should be a tough match for A.J. McCarron today, and Denver does have that very good secondary. Even if T.J. Ward can't go, Aqib Tlaib uh, and Chris Harris, as well, as well as Brandon Roby, are very good cornerbacks. So they should be able to match up pretty well against not only A.J. Green, but the rest of the, the, rest of the receivers for Cincinnati and Tyler Eifert is out the tight end for the Bengals so a security blanket for the young quarterback will not be available so that's why I'm taking the Broncos in this game relatively low scoring I like it to be 24 to 14 I expect Cincinnati's offense to really struggle as we just discussed okay so that is it for the Monday night breakdown of tonight's Monday night football game the last Monday night football game of the season we will be back tomorrow Tuesday the 29th of December to give you our weekly NBA report as well as a recap of this game. Thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow.